Hello, welcome to Stone Magpie. My name is Suzanne and today I'm at work in my lunch break. In fact, we don't need to see that. <laughs> Move that out of the way. And let's see the pretty things on my desk at the moment. Yes, I'm going to start doing the cake stand that was kindly sent by Ryan at Fancel's. And I've been dying to have a go at this ready for the springtime and then I can put all my lovely cakes on this tiered stand. So this one that I've chosen to start today is the top layer. And I'm doing this one because it is the smallest to bring into work. And I've been looking and wondering where to start and I was going to go all the way around the edge and then work inward. However, I think because I'm going to take it back home with me after today I'm going to section it so I'll probably start in this section with us all today so I hope you're all well I hope you've all been diamond painting and I'm going to use the basic tray and pen that this kit came with because we will be single placing and I can just use some pink wax so I'll fill up the pen and luckily, as you can see, all of the crystals are already in packets. So I'll be able to put them back in as I go. So the green tray will be fine for this. I don't think I'll need a funnel tray, luckily. Oh gosh, do you know, my chair at work is so squeaky. So hopefully it will stop squeaking as the video carries on. So I'm going to start, I think, with the number threes across here and in the sunray patterns. So number three packet, as you can see, all of the packets are really clearly labelled, which is nice with the big numbers on. So we'll make it easier. Pour some of those into my green tray. Oh, such a pretty sparkly colour. Right. And do forgive my nails. And if my hands are a little bit dirty, then please forgive that as well, because I am at work. I have been in the workshops today. And um, there is no way you can keep your hands clean. <laughs> so even though I'm not a technician, um, I still get quite mucky, shall we say. There's no way I would bring stitching into the workplace. It would just get so grimy, um, which is another positive for the diamond painting because they don't tend to pick up the dirt as much as a fabric. So it's so nice to be diamond painting again and I'm just so excited to get this cake stand done so that I can use it. Oh, telephone's ringing. Just bear with me. Right, where were we? Sorry about that. The phone may well ring and Louise, my work colleague, who you may remember if you've been watching my channel for a while, she's on holiday this week. So the phone calls, I still have to answer in my lunch time, but hopefully there won't be too many of those interrupting us. Now I need this diamond painting today. I need this diamond painting time. I am feeling a little bit, whoo, um, panicked is the wrong word, but yeah, panicked. <laughs> <laughs> all to do with the fact that we have now sold our house and I did a whip and chat about this recently where we did sell our house a little bit of a while ago and found a house to move to and then our buyers pulled out for whatever reason not sure why they just changed their minds which they are allowed to do in the UK without any thought of you know any real expense or anything and it's left us high and dry well we have now resold our house and therefore are looking for another one because the house we were going to buy 
sold to somebody else in the meantime. So we're back to square one looking for a property to move to within budget because of course there are always lovely ones that we can't afford um, and our idea is to actually try and half the mortgage try and pull back a little bit of money to have some more play money as I would call it um, you know <laughs> funds for more diamond painting stitching etc would be nice just looking for number 12 I should really have pulled out oh 12 isn't a circle 12 is a beautiful little teardrop so nice yes so yeah we're trying to find somewhere that we would actually like to live <laughs> and oh i think i'm going to have to see if i've got some tweezers i did bring in a diamond art club kit recently but i think i bet i left the tweezers at home yes i did right don't have any tweezers here at work don't think I'll be able to pick these up very well because my nails are all cut short. So we'll leave number 12 and we'll do the circles instead. And I can fill in those bits when I get home and get my nice needle nose tweezers to help. So sorry about that. We're not going to see any of the special shapes this time. I will do number 11 instead. Yes, yeah, so I just need to do a bit of diamond painting and calm down a little bit. I feel a bit fraught. So that's why diamond painting is so good for us. Give us a bit of headspace, get out of everyday life and just relax. What will be, will be, and I'm sure we'll find somewhere to live. It's just the compromises that you have to make when you're selling a property and trying to find another one, isn't it? So, yeah, we have had a look at a few houses and until I would say yesterday, we were going to get a new build However, when I've looked into things a bit more carefully, the new build now have what they call service contracts attached to them and you have to agree to pay a service charge even though it's a freehold property. You pay for the maintenance of the roads and the green spaces around the houses so that the council don't have to adopt them. And it's just made me really wobbly because I've been onto forums and I've read what a nightmare they can be. And I just don't want to get into it. I don't want to take the risk of things not working out for the best in the property that we're looking at. So we're going to not take that up and it's a shame really because the house was so beautiful as a new build obviously everything is new new carpets beautifully painted all of that sort of thing but um, I don't feel it's worth the risk of when charges are applied that you have no control of it's the unforeseen and I don't want any horrible surprises in the future so I just don't feel it's worth it so we're going to keep looking elsewhere but it all takes time and it actually takes a lot of energy to go and view properties and try and work out if they would be suitable in layout in um, energy efficiency all of that to take into consideration nowadays isn't it so it's not just purchasing the property it's actually affording it affording to live in it as well yeah lots to think about sorry 
drop that one, see if I can scoot it along. So going back to the diamond painting on this one, and you can see just how bright it is as I'm putting these glorious colours down. Really nice. And this one being the top layer, feels like it's got a bit of a party vibe to it. Feels a bit fiesta to me. Maybe it's the um, reds and blues. So it's going to be really lovely. I think this colourway as well is great for any time of year. It's definitely got a summer vibe, but if you think Christmas, spring with the pinks and blues, mm, autumn, not so sure about. Um, but it's nice to bright up our days when days start to close in a bit on us, ready for winter. And luckily, now we're coming straight out of winter. That won't happen for quite a while now. All right, get some more of these nines around the edge and then I'll head inwards. And looking at um, the design of this one, with the kit, you actually get um, a plastic or acrylic. It's not a thick acrylic though, I'll show you. Each layer has this, um, I'm gonna call it plastic layer that you put on the top so that when you put your cakes on, it protects the lovely diamond painted areas. So that is a really nice thought. And so because we have that protective layer, I wasn't going to fill in the sticky areas afterwards with um, the mica powder or eyeshadow. However, when I look at it, they are quite gappy. And so when I put that protective sleeve over the top, I don't want it to be sticking to the base. So once I finish completely diamond painting, each layer, I think I am going to powder it and just brush over a little bit of eyeshadow so that um, the tackiness will be taken away from the surface. These crystals are so shimmery. I'm hoping that you can see that on camera. They really are sparkling beautifully. And it's not that sunny in the UK today. Thankfully, it's not raining because we've had our fair share of the wet stuff. Um, but it is cloudy today. And yet these little crystals sparking away to cheer us up. <laughs> It's just so lovely. I am finally calming down. I don't know if you can sense that. When I first started the video, I was a bit frenetic, a bit And now I am slowly getting into the groove, slowing down a little bit. You may wonder why I am sort of not being very accurate picking up the crystals and that's because I've got some reading glasses on that are not quite the right <laughs> um, strength so I'm finding it quite tricky to see these in the tray from that distance and I don't want to keep sticking my head in the way of the camera. <laughs> oh dear. So sometimes I'm just missing the crystals a little bit. but I think it's okay. If I'm not quite in the right space, I will, what I call, faff about with it after I've finished recording and just make sure they all slip into the right area. So next we're gonna do number six, which is a different color. So I've got to find those. I do love working from packets. When there's not many, it's really great that you don't have to take the time to kit up and things you can just put them all back in really easily and 
then get the next packet. So number six, ooh, nice bright red orange here. Yeah. Really pretty. I have done a fairly big diamond painting from the packet as well. It was my Oraloa Fairy I used the packets for, and I think, if I remember rightly, there were about 60 colours, and I managed to do those out of the packets, and I just laid the packets beside me in number order and did it like that, um, so they were easy to find. I did them in rows of 10. Um, so do give it a go if you do get these little baggies and you don't want to spend time kitting up. Sometimes it means you do have to either go by the number or stick a little sticker on the packets to show the symbol if you want to do it that way. But yes, I found it quite easy to do. I think when these crystals are laid down, they are definitely looking more orange than red. Funny how they change colours sometimes, isn't it? Perhaps it's the green showing through from the green tray. And then once they're on the orange background, they're picking up the orange. So spring, spring already. This year is zooming, isn't it? Doesn't seem five minutes ago that it was Christmas. I know that a few people have got spring Easter projects on the go or have had Easter projects on the go. So I hope you've enjoyed those if, if that's you too. Just wondering, I think I'm going to stick with these oranges and fill in this bit and then continue. So. Um, Apart from the house move and doing my crafting, I haven't really got much other news, I don't think, considering I've not done a whip and chat for quite a while. I just feel like I've been just doing practical things, really, with getting the house sold and, you know, the, thing, the updates that are needed for that and working stitching because I still have my flush tube alongside my diamond painting on the go which has been really great actually because I've been able to sit on the sofa on an evening stitching during winter whilst the conservatory is quite cold and that has worked really well and I've really got into stitching big time so yes I've enjoyed that I did actually wonder whether to do a separate channel for my stitching and my diamond painting. But I thought, you know, people do do both. I think if you're a diamond painter, you may well have come from the cross stitching or perhaps you've started cross stitching because the patterns of the diamond painting have enticed you in the artworks that we get when we're diamond painting. So I thought if I separate it, then you may well miss out on sort of um, what I'm doing with my stitching wise. So I'm keeping it as one channel for now anyway. So let me know what you think about that because I do think people can just ignore videos if they're not interested. I always title my videos floss tube when they're stitching ones. And for my diamond painting, I tend to do the unboxings and the whip and chats. So I think it is obvious which is which. If not, do let me know because um, I'd be interested to hear. I don't want you to get fed up if you... Mind you, floss tubes I'm only doing once a month, just at the end or the beginning of a month. So, whereas with my diamond painting, I do it as I get new things to unbox 
or if I feel like I've got something to talk about or would like to show more of. And that's what today's video is all about, showing you more of this cake stand and what it's going to hopefully look like and to give you an idea of how sticky it will be once the crystals are down. So, especially around these areas with the bigger crystals in. Got to keep an eye on the time because you know what it's like. You do get carried away. There's the phone again, excuse me. Right, oh. <laughs> I don't think it's working doing this at lunchtime, is it? Because I just want to relax and I can't switch off. Anyway, there we go. Right, I'm going to, because I'll be able to pick up number 15 with my fingers, they look quite big. I'm going to pop it in there and just see how sticky. Oh, oh yes. Right, can't resist. So, oh, do you know what? Oh, I'm going to pop that straight in, try and get it nicely lined up. Oh, wow, isn't that pretty? Now, one thing I'm now wondering is when I put that protective cover on the top before I put my delicious cakes on, it's going to sit on top of the bigger crystals, isn't it? It's going to be like floating because it that's going to lift it up a little bit. Oh, I need to get some cakes to try this with. <laughs> Any excuse? I need cakes to try my diamond painting. Right, let's get those nines in and then I may have to leave you and carry on working because I don't want to get sacked. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. Mind you, I always said that I would like to buy a camper van and travel around and see everybody. Yeah, take my diamond painting on tour. So if I'm sacked and I can't afford to buy another house, that might just force me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't really joke about it, should I? Ooh, be careful what you wish for. Right, let's get these number nines in. You see, the problem is, and I want to get the number 11s in as well. And I have been answering the phone, haven't I? So I think I mowed a couple more minutes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get those number 11s in before I stop. Shh. I'm sure my bosses don't watch my channel. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, number 11s. <laughs> oh, but now I want to do those as well. Oh, goodness. I'm going to get into trouble. I'm going to get into so much trouble. Right. pop of bright blue. Woo! So I bet you've all been working on some beautiful projects. If not full paintings, then let me know. Have you got any projects, practical things on the go? Or have you been focusing on big diamond paintings? I'd love to know. I'd love to know if you did Easter crafts with your diamond painting. Do you know, years and years and years ago, my grandma used to give me a decorated egg um, every year. And it wasn't a chocolate egg. It was like a blown real egg, probably goose. It was bigger than a chicken egg. And they were so beautifully decorated with all sorts of little bits and bobs and they'd cut out a, like an aperture of the egg and they would hang things from ribbons and things like that and make a little scene within the egg and paint it and glitter it. Wouldn't that be fun to do with our leftover crystals and diamonds? Oh, never thought about doing that before. I wonder how easy it is to blow an egg. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, what am I like? If you know, I am a bit clumsy, but um, I might well give it a go one day, you know. Have a little go. Right, I really do have to stop after this. I have just been a bit naughty. Being a bit naughty. Nobody's watching, are they? <laughs> right. I will continue this and I am so pleased with how it's looking already with those glitters. <gasps> I can't wait to see it finished. So thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you enjoy your own diamond painting and like I say, let me know what you're working on. Take care everybody. Thank you for watching. Likes, shares and subscribes are always appreciated. Bye for now.